Well, Dave and Glenda, Governor Gretchen Whitmer's current stay at home order will expire on May 1st. Now, the governor does want to open up the state, but she says she wants to do it slowly. Now, tomorrow she is expected to announce some type of an extension with this current stay at home order. Like I've said, there are reasons for cautious optimism. Governor Gretchen Whitmer expected to lay out her plans to reopen the state Friday morning. When I say I'm hoping to loosen some restrictions, I mean that I'll only loosen them based on what the facts and data are telling us when it is safe and how it is safe to do so. The governor adding in order to avoid a second surge of COVID-19, the state needs to be smart and that things won't happen overnight. I want to be clear, we will likely need another short-term extension of the stay home, stay safe order. But the governor will be up against Republicans who say they will try to form an oversight committee to look into the governor's handling of the state shutdown. After the 28 days, does the governor have carte blanche on going ahead and keeping the state of emergency in place? I mean, we don't believe that she does. A state advisory council with leaders from U of M, Wayne State and MSU provides crucial information to the governor when deciding how to move forward. It's all taking advantage of our academic expertise and our ability to collect and analyze data to try to provide our political leaders with the best possible information to fuel their decision making. Governor Whitmer understands we need to get the state going again, but is not willing to do it without taking the most proactive and protective steps. It will have to be very thoughtful and precise, mitigating risk to all and mitigating the risk of a second wave. But we will start to re-engage. So again, tomorrow morning, Governor Gretchen Whitmer expected to talk about some type of an extension with her current stay at home order while also talking about how she plans on reopening the state slowly and safely. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.